I started with this unfinished piece of wood. It's about 12 by 12 inches. And I started by painting it Antique Villa from Wise Owl Paint. I covered the entire board and I allowed that to dry. I then took this stencil from Studio R12 and I just centered it on the board. And once I had it placed in the right spot, I just took some blue painter's tape and I'm just securing some tape on all four sides to help prevent it from sliding on me. I have this unfinished circle and I'm just using this because there are a lot of different cutouts on this stencil and I wanna to try to do multiple colors. So I started with some chocolate on the outside border. Now after the border, there was a circle cutout and I filled that in with some dry thyme from Wise Owl Paint. And I'm just using a very small dabber here. The line is about a quarter of an inch thick. I like using the foam dabbers when applying paint to a stencil. You want to load the paint on and then unload the paint before going to your stencil to dab. You want to use a very small amount of paint so you don't get any bleeding underneath the stencil. And here I'm doing the word fall and the chocolate. And then I took some goldenrod and I just filled in some of the words with goldenrod and mandarina and I just rotated every other one. Now, if you wanted to just do one full color, you could roll it on with a small foam roller. I then took a very thin art brush and I just connected my letters for the word fall. And then I'm just gonna go around and take a small piece of sandpaper and just clean up anywhere where I did get a little bit of bleeding. When the stencils have smaller wording like this or smaller lines, you do tend to get a little more of a bleed through but you can clean it up with some of the sanding paper. And then I just took a sanding block and I sanded the entire piece. I removed all of the sanding dust. I went to this welcome sign. I got this from Target. It was $3 and it's a galvanized metal. I took some mandarina and a foam dabber and I just painted the welcome with two coats of the mandarina. And I allowed that to dry. And then I took this board that I also found at Target for $5. And I glued the welcome with E6000 onto the center of the board. Next, I took some of my furniture salve and I just put a top coat on the stenciled board. And as you can see, it just brightens up the paint. And then I just rub that in with a cotton sock. I cut two pieces of jute and I have this screw eye. It's a screw with a little hook on the end. And I'm just going to put some tape on the end of the jute here. And I screwed in two screw eyes on each end of my 12 by 12 board. And then I strung some wood beads at the top and I did this on both the left and the right side. And then I went about three and a half inches in on each side of the welcome board. And I secured another screw eye on the left and the right side. These screw eyes are very small, so it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it's just a small screw that has a little hook on the end. And I like to use these to attach boards together or when I have to add a hanger. And you can get a pack of these right at Hobby Lobby for like $2.99. And they come in different sizes. 
once I had those attached, I then took the jute and I secured it through the screw eye that was on the welcome board. I turned it over and then I just tied the two pieces of the jute together into a knot. And then I just cut off the extra. And that's it. Now we have this welcome fall hanging wall sign. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials on our webpage or our YouTube. Have a great day.